What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmarTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the while loop, so let's get started. Now what is the while loop? Well a while loop is just basically a loop that tests for certain conditions. As long as those conditions are met, the loop keeps going. And I'll show you how that works. We have to first start off by declaring a variable, an integer data type, so I'm going to type in int, right, hit space, and you got to give your variable a name. You could call it count, but you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my red. Hit space, and you got to make it equal to something. I want to make mine equal to zero, and I'll explain why in a second. So now we're going to start the while loop body. So we're going to type in while, hit space, open and close parentheses, right? Hit space, open and close curly brace. In between the open and close curly brace, we're going to hit enter a few times. So this is the structure of a while loop here. So in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to test for conditions. As long as those conditions are met, the loop is going to keep looping and it's going to execute whatever is in between this open and close. So in between this open and close curly brace, I'm going to give it an instruction to do while it's looping. So I'm going to use the system that out that print ln to do it. So capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. Now in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in a set of double quotes, so two double quotes, right? In between the set of double quotes, we're going to type in a message. I'm going to say yes. So as long as the loop is keep going, it's going to keep printing out yes. So now we've got to give it some conditions to test. So we're going to say red, because we got our variable is red, right? And let's say it's less than 10, because I want my uh, loop to go 10 times. So as long as red is less than 10, it's going to keep looping and it's going to keep printing out yes, right? So once red is greater than 10, then the loop is going to stop. Now underneath the system that out that print ln, we're going to hit enter, right? And we're going to add another statement. We're going to say red. Then we're going to say plus, plus the two plus symbols and end it with a semicolon. So every time the loop happens, it's going to add one to our variable red. Right now our variable red has a value of zero. But every time the loop happens, it's, it's going to add 1. So once we get to 11, the loop is going to stop, basically. Because right now, it's testing whether or not the loop is less than 10. So as long as the loop is less than 10, it's going to keep looping. Once the, the variable red has a value of 11, then the loop will stop. So I'm going to hit play here. All right, we got an error message. I know why we got an error message. I forgot to add the semicolon at the end of this system that out that print ln. So add a semicolon there. Now let's hit play again. And as you can see, it worked. It printed out the yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So that's pretty cool, right? So there's another way you can do this. Now, uh, you can, uh, instead of making your, your value zero, and incrementing the, the value of your uh, variable, you can do the opposite. You can make your, the value of your variable the, the amount you want it to loop. So I want it to loop 10 times, right? So we made our variable equal to 10, right? So now you're going to set this to the opposite. You're going to make this greater than instead of less than. And you're going to say uh, as long as it's greater than uh, 1, right? So we uh, we changed our variable to have a value of 10. And we changed uh, the conditions so that red is greater than 1. As long as red is greater than 1, the loop is going to happen. So now we got to change this pluses to minuses. So this decrements. It doesn't increment now. So two minuses will decrement. So it essentially does the same thing, but it's the opposite way of doing it. It uh, Our variable has a value of, of 10 right now, right? So it's going to go down. It's going to test whether or not our variable is greater than 1, which it's greater than 1. So then it's going to print yes. Then it's going to decrement the variable by 1. So then the next loop around the variable is going to have a value of 9 and it's going to keep going on until it's less than 1. So let's hit play here. And it did the pretty much the same thing. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it, it only printed 9 instead of 10 and I know why. It's because uh, we, were t we should test whether or not our variable red is greater than 0, not 1. So we're going to change this to a 0, then it should print yes 10 times. So let's hit play again. And let's count. On the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You printed it 10 times now. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com, and thanks for watching.